Hey everybody, welcome to this week's sewing video. This is the table runner version of the Halloween Quilt As You Go project. I'm going to work in parts and this week I'll piece and quilt the pinwheel blocks. Let's get sewing. Okay, this project requires two pinwheel blocks, but I'm only sewing one in this video, although I'm using these 10 inch squares and this is actually enough to cut for two blocks. I have one plain fabric and then the Halloweeny fabric. And because this is quilt as you go, I've also cut the batting and the backing fabric one inch bigger than my finished block will be. Okay, now cut your 10 inch squares into five inch squares. Okay, I'm gonna chain piece my squares and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch on either side of the line that I've drawn. I have my leader fabric first to keep my fabric from going under. And I have my edge foot on, which I like for this because I just keep the edge right on top of that drawn line. Then I push each square right under the foot for the chain piecing. Okay, now I'm going to press open my little triangles, which are going to be squares, and I'm pressing on the pattern side, and then I'm just gonna open it up, and then I'm gonna press again. And I'm gonna press all the seams towards the pattern side. And now I'll trim each block to four and a half inch square. I'm using my four and a half inch square ruler and a rotating cutting mat. So I place the diagonal line on the ruler directly over the diagonal seam line on my block. And then I just trim around the edges, turning the mat when I need to. Okay, place four blocks in the pinwheel design and then place the two top blocks together and the two bottom blocks together. Clip or pin them and then I'll take them to the machine to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so I've pressed the seams in opposite directions so that the seams will nest nicely. I'm going to line the seams up as perfectly as I can, and then I will put a pin into both seams. After that, I'm gonna take it to the machine again and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so here's my finished block. It looks really nice on both sides. And now this is the quilt as you go method. So I bring in my backing fabric and my batting that's already been prepared. And then I'll place my block on top of that batting and make sure it's nicely centered. And then I'll put a couple pins in it and then I'm gonna take it to the machine and I'm going to do the quilting lines. So, 
in a traditional quilt, we would build the whole top and then we would quilt everything at the end. And this is quilt as you go. We're gonna use the sashing method. It's gonna come together really nice. So this is just the beginning part of it. And because this is quilt as you go, I'm just popping in my pins, then I'm gonna to go to my machine and I'm gonna do the quilting now and I'm gonna do echo quilting in each of the triangles. Okay, so here I am at my machine. I have my open toe walking foot on and there's these lines on my walking foot and those are the lines I'm going to use to guide me in the echo quilting. So there are lines on either side and then there are lines towards the back. And so each of these lines, I've positioned my needle so that they're a quarter inch away. So I'll just use those and follow along. So again, I have the line over here lined up with my seam line. I'm going to follow it along until I reach a horizontal line. And then I'm going to lift my foot, turn my fabric and continue quilting. I also, reduce my stitch length and just do a few six or seven stitches at the start. And you can see I sew very slowly and then I lift my foot I turn the fabric and then I continue sewing and I'm using that red guideline on the foot again just to create the echo quilting of that triangle. And then I go ahead and I decrease that stitch length one more time just to finish the stitches on this part of the quilting. And there you have it. Here's your first quilt as you go block. So we need two of these pinwheel blocks. So go ahead and create the other one. And then we will continue on next week with another block for this quilt as you go project. Okay, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for the second part of this project.